Lessons and happy Wednesday, fellow travelers, hump day, and today is Witch's Wisdom, so it is Witchy Woman Wednesday. We are going to be, again, getting our main energy for the collective from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards. We'll then tap into the original Rider Waite Tarot to see what's going on with some past, present, future energy, perhaps a Celtic cross spread. We will then clarify with the Vice Versa Tarot. Grab a forest day card to see what the advice is from spirit moving forward or a message. And then we will tap into the lover's oracle card to see what is the main message in love for us today. Blessings and I hope your superman, strawberry full superman has been treating you well. And thank you so much always for your likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Do so if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the videos and messages that I put up daily. Blessings to the ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor your wisdom and the witch's wisdom this day especially. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm always appreciative and thankful to connect with your energy and see what's going on. Hopefully we get at least a message or two out for you today. Do keep in mind that these are general messages. It doesn't even have to be Wednesday when you see this reading. If the message seems to apply to you, and especially with the uh, elemental readings and the zodiac readings, those can be, you know, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So take one what resonates leave what doesn't for another person who may need that message all right which is wisdom for the collective what do we need to know moving forward today and what is going on for the collective Ooh, this is all around home i feel like this is definitely you know you reserving your energy at this time Getting everything around your home in order is what this feels like to me. There could actually also be a homecoming in order, meaning that somebody who's been away from home for a while could be coming back. Hopefully that's a good thing. All right, so we see that the fires are being stoked, that somebody has definitely been keeping the hearth fire going here. So this is hearth and homecoming. We're gonna look into this a little bit more and see, is this someone perhaps trying to come back from the past and have a homecoming? Is this a welcome homecoming that we're looking forward to perhaps that we are already planning for? Hit the like button if you're resonating with this today or maybe you're hoping somebody will come home. All right, this card for us says, you have heard the phrase, home is where the heart is, right? Well, it certainly rings true for you at this moment in time. The hearth calls you back to the bosom of your family to return to the center of what really is important. So remember where your loyalties lie. This is a vital time right now for you to enjoy some home comforts like comfort food. <laughs> where you can relax and be the real you, all right? So you may be taking some time away to go and spend some time uh, with your family or with a loved one, you know, like a mother, father, grandparent, brother, sister, that kind of thing, going for a visit. So this is a great time for you just to let your hair down and be who you know you truly are, right? Nobody's going to judge you. You are done with preference and keeping up with others' appearances for others for appearances' sake. So you're you're tired of being concerned about what everybody else thinks about you. You know, like at work, we have to be so concerned about you know how judgy people can be if we decide not to do our hair completely or our makeup completely perfect one day, you know, and maybe we do look a little more tired. So what, you know, maybe we're just a little lazier that day, perhaps, right? All right, it's all been rather fast paced for you and it's time to slow things down and take it easy. Heart invites you to return back to basics for a while where you can rest in the warmth and sup up some nourishing soup. Yeah, maybe your mom makes some wonderful soup or your wifey even or something of that nature. Uh, here within your very own space, you can review your priorities and maybe rework that schedule of yours. But for now, 
curl up and focus on some peace and well-being. Welcome home. All right, so this is definitely a time where you're rejuvenating, you're regaining your strength and your energy, and you definitely need to be around those people who are uplifting you in positive ways is what I'm hearing spirits say. Just like that good food, we need that good conversation. We need warm hugs and, you know, all of that coziness, fireplaces maybe even, depending on where you're at. Witch's Foresight says you are in need of some good old fashioned nurturing right now. Focus your priorities on home life for a while. A family gathering is in the cards. Take some time out to rest and heal. Reve revel in some more family time. You need to revalue your priorities. So maybe the people that you're around and your activities and maybe those people related to those activities specifically. All right, enjoy some home cooking. So here is your incantation for this week. Your spell that you may say to bring this all into fruition. It is time to do something for you. Stop racing around. Don't do the do. Return to that which you know best. Enjoy some warmth and well-earned rest. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be. There, it is done. Yes, it is done. Allow yourself to feel good and to be surrounded by those people that love you. It doesn't have to be blood, you know, even if you're not going to um, your own physical, you know, biological uh, people's homes and things of that nature. This can just simply be people that you are close to that you know have your back and are going to be there for you. So again, this could be just you pulling away for a little time regaining your strength, rebalancing, understanding what you need to know, you know, getting your emotions in the right place so that you can have that strength to move forward, right? Maybe to regroup. Yeah, definitely balancing is in the cards. So you may definitely be pulling away at this time to get that stability going, you know, on the earthly plane, emotionally speaking as well. And, you know, again, this angel here supporting us in that process. In the middle here, we're definitely not juggling any longer. This is our center energy of everything. This person that I'm reading for today, you are absolutely sure you're not unstable, right? You want that balance in your life. You want to feel good. So you definitely may be pulling away today because right now your reserves, your strength is just definitely needing to have some an overhaul is what I was hearing you know right now it's like you're doing so much as what I'm uh, hearing with the mundane tasks just making sure that everything gets taken care of on top of work and you really need to pull away to regroup and get things in order to get yourself in order because I feel like you know there were some issues with your finances in the past that needed to uh, yeah maybe a karmic situation that you're thinking about where, you know, in the past you were with this person perhaps. In the future though, I feel like if you're not careful and you don't focus where you need to, you are going to have some concerns in the financial department. We saw that in the past here with the nine of pentacles, but I feel like if you get too caught up in this karmic cycle, or if you're thinking about getting caught back up in a karmic cycle again, I feel spirit is saying like, you know, this is something where you're really going to have to revalue like it was talking about your value, your worth, your time. Is this balanced? Because with this Queen of Cups in reverse, as well as this Ace, which is usually the hand of God, you know, trying to assist you, are you still resisting, you know, allowing spirit to help you? Because you're not seeing any growth or abundance, you know, where you've been putting your time and effort and energy. And again, I feel like you see this and you know that the balance is what you need right now. So, you know, it's kind of one of those situations where if you don't pull away, uh, you know, from toxic energies and situations of that nature, because again, we've got the karmic energy here with the nine of wands. So you're thinking about it at least as what this is looking like, you know, hit the like button if this is you today resonating with this energy. Definitely not having any victory, you know, you knew that there was that was something that you were sure of basically the way things have been going have not been good where do we need 
you know, to fix things in our energy so that we can have this victory, right? It's like we know, but maybe we're not necessarily doing, you know, with our energy, if you, so to speak, if you will. So we're having to take the action, be honest with ourselves about what that action is that we may need to take, right? There may still be some dishonesty going on about what's keeping us from all of our abundance or our happiness. So I feel like, again, that hermiting kind of energy, six of swords in reverse. Yeah, if we're, uh, we're not going to have the strength to move forward if we're not willing to leave certain situations, perhaps love situations, even just the energy, the thoughts, the emotions, because Six of Swords is all about, you know, learning our lessons and moving to those, you know, better places for us, calmer waters, as, you know, they like to say. And this is us still not, you know, being happy in the present moment understanding you know what we deserve and maybe we're able to keep everything balanced so to speak with that queen of wands energy you know and, and put a brave face on to the world but maybe we're not feeling so good inside and beautiful and wonderful yeah i feel like we may still be learning some lessons here about what's keeping us from reaching our abundance and i feel this is us always being in a relationship perhaps you know, or, or um, not getting our abundance or our stability, you know, through ourselves or making sure that we have our own stability in place. The lesson may be is that we're constantly, you know, hoping that someone else is going to provide what it is that we want. But we quickly see that those people that we've been dealing with are, you know, not ones that tend to stay for a long time. They're not willing to stay the course and, you know, take the road less traveled and, you know, actually try to have a home and happiness and things of that nature. Divine timing. So I feel like some of you may be waiting for this to come back around and feeling like this is what's going to bring you that happiness and stability, right? You're looking within yourself. Maybe this is something you feel that were you the karmic, perhaps you know, is what I would also ask in this situation. Or, you know, I don't know, because this Ace of Pentacles moving into the future, Spirit's saying it's time to put an end to this cycle, basically, with the World card. One, two, three, four. The progression has been clear that things have not been working out for you. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, right? We're not seeing the abundance that we want to see. King of Swords in Reverse is definitely showing that someone is not being honest about this situation, how much it has burdened them, perhaps. And, you know, off in the distance, we can see that there is something more. But are we willing to do the work, perhaps, to get out of a situation or to end a situation that we know that we need to? So this is where we need, may need to pull away today you know, and uh, spend some time with those people that we trust to help give us more of the answers and clarity we need moving forward on this, right? Today we get the soothsayer, travel the road seldom taken. And that was just what I was saying with that two of wands energy that we saw. I'm not sure where that was exactly, but there was two of wands energy that I saw. And I said that exactly, that someone is perhaps not willing to take that road less traveled with you. You know, you are on a path that not many, you know, um, are willing to travel, if you will, especially if you're a one on a higher path. And you really are going to have to look deeper into these situations and make those determinations about where you will be able to have that success. Because so far, that's where the main problem lies, is the choices that we're making in those people to have those successes with, is what I'm feeling. Spirit's asking you to put an end to that and focus on what's most important. Here's a little bit of mirroring action with the energy of this card. It says, be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities that you admire in another are qualities you both possess all right so nobody is better than anybody else first of all and don't let anybody over inflate your head either equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so this is an opportunity 1441 I just saw where we can balance out and make those changes within each one of us that could absolutely allow us to be able to bring this back together.
but only if we're both willing to do that balance that's needed that we saw here with the temperance energy. Definitely you're going to have to do that in any case, whoever's watching this video, because that is what's going to balance out your heart and help you to feel even happier within your own home of your body and soul. All right. Blessings to you for your day ahead. Do hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye for now.